1984, I joined Van Horn Metz and Company and became an equity partner. And we are a specialty chemical distributor. About 20 years ago, we said it's time to start to source and to sell internationally. A friend of mine called me and said, how would you like to pursue an opportunity in Canada? And we worked it out with a fellow named Jim Clark, who's our Canadian manager. Basically, we've been successful because the relationships that had been developed in the past here in Canada with myself and the new relationships that have been developed. His experience in, in the language and the customs and the needs of our customers has been a great help. We've been willing to service the clientele up here in Canada with products they required that they didn't currently have available to them. There is no manufacturing of these chemical raw materials here in Canada anymore. Or what there is, is very, very limited. So everything has to be done on an import basis. We acquired another company that had a fair amount of international business where we have product made for us here and then we ship it uh, globally to South America and to Europe. I'm proud of our people. We have very, very good people that understand our business. The best part of the job is seeing different cultures, how different businesses work, and making sure that we're bringing their principles and ideals to the final customer here in the United States. Our CFO, John Nassero, he's phenomenal M&A guy. We're a small office, about 10 to 12 people here in Conshohocken, so we, we cover the globe when it comes to importing. We're not just buying commodities everywhere, we're buying specialty chemicals. On the exporting side, we've grown tremendously. We don't always service the largest corporations, but the small and medium-sized companies use our help. and. We, we bring them these, these raw materials that allow them to compete and create innovative products. VP of Sales, Andy Romano, is just brilliant. We do some business in Mexico. We've done some business in Brazil, United Kingdom and Germany, the Netherlands, working with principals from all over the world uh, to find product is, is, is exciting, is challenging. We've doubled the, the export numbers on a dollar basis every year for the last three years, which was pretty impressive considering the way the world was in, in 2021 and 2022. Shannon Warner, the list goes on and on. I personally brag about it because I was able to literally start at the bottom and work my way up. Um, I think that they are a very open company. They're always looking for new and exciting ventures. COVID, we survived it. We immediately change our technology so that people could work at home. We're lucky to have a president that likes to get the latest and greatest gadgets, so to speak, so that we can operate easier and more efficiently and take care of our customers. We're a small but a big company and we service and take care of our customers' needs. I've, I've been down on the loading dock shouldn't do it, just helping people load product because it was five or six o'clock and a truck came in and we had to help out a customer. And we do it. That's, that's what a customer wants, to keep going. Winning the award from the World Trade Center is a great accomplishment for everyone that works here, starting with Barry. World Trade Center has been important, most of all for us, for the relationships that we build. It means a lot to us. It means a lot. We've worked very hard to establish ourselves as a global business.